Hello, happy Wednesday. We're back again for today's take five. Now, I will just tell you where we are because I don't think we've done that yet. No, I don't think we so. haven't travelled very far. We, um, we've just come down the road literally and we're sat in Branksome Wreck enjoying the sunshine because yeah. summer has arrived and we thought, well, we don't know how long it's going to be here, so we have ventured outside and that's where we are. We're sitting outside and it really is very beautiful. It's isn't lovely, it? isn't it? It's lovely. Um, so today we are looking at uh, Zachariah verses 10 and 11. And we particularly wanted to take a look at uh, Zechariah verse uh, chapter 10. Oh gosh, have I lost it? Verse 4. Verse 4. There it is. <laughs> and it reads this. From Judah will come the cornerstone. From him the tent peg. From him the battle bow. And from him every ruler. Now, <clears throat> I was wondering about this because I thought perhaps the Jews might have been a little bit confused mm -hmm. uh, because the temple has already been built. Right. So the cornerstone that he's talking about here that mm. they're probably receiving it as has already been laid yeah. in the temple. So therefore, so how do you think they're receiving from Judah will come the cornerstone? Because he's talking about the future, isn't he? Yeah, it? he is. And how? And then maybe they're thinking, well, if he's talking about the future, but that's already happened, it's in the past. Mm. Confusion reigns. Yeah. And, and that's the thing about the prophet, isn't it? The prophet is always looking forward mm. to what is to come. And like we've said, it might be near future, it might be long term future, but he's looking forward. Um, and so, yeah, like you say, there must be a question mark. <laughs> in the minds of the Jews as Zechariah spit. In yeah. fact, maybe Zechariah had a question mark, well, hang on <laughs> yeah, a minute, maybe. how does this tie up? But he obediently brings this. Yeah. And of course, we now know in the light of uh, Jesus being on the earth mm. and some of the New Testament teaching that um, particularly Peter gives us, that Jesus is yeah. the cornerstone. Oh. And then we have to ask ourselves, well, what does that mean? If we go back to the temple, when they put the cornerstone in that, that big old building, it would be the stone that all the other stones line up with. Mm. It's kind of the, the um, marker point, if you like, to make the building square, to make it seated properly, mm. to make it um, fit its design. Mm. And all the other bricks, uh, well, stones, uh, have, well, we are in line with have to line up with yes. it, yeah. So then that's, that's really the message of this for us, isn't it? That um, our lives should line up with mm. Jesus. And I think bigger than that is our lives as a body, as a church, should line up with mm. Jesus. And that means that every brick has to be in the right place. Has, yes. Every brick has to be fashioned mm. um, and cut even so that it is um, lined up with mm. that cornerstone. And that can be a... Uh, a painful process. I was going to say that sounds like it could possibly be painful. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was about to say. So. But the reward is mm. the finished building, mm. yes. the glorious temple, yes. the people of God. Mm. Um, and for us, it's not a building, is it? It's a people, and that's what God's looking for in us: uh, a people who are lined up with Jesus, who are obedient, mm. who are um, one with Him. And I guess that's our challenge for today, isn't it? Is my life lined up mm. and obedient to what Jesus is telling me to do? So that's my challenge. That's your challenge. And my challenge. Um, are we following Jesus mm. obediently? So that's something to think on today as we, we go through the day. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow with, uh, where are we on? Zechariah? Zechariah 12. 12, thank you. <laughs> we look Bye forward for to seeing you then. Bye. Bye.